and hello. Decided to go ahead and do Glammas instead of um, Vlogmas, at least today. Maybe I'll do more later, like in a Vlogmas kind of feeling. But right now, I might actually insert a picture of how I felt this morning when I got up. And it wasn't exactly Christmas spirit. Yeah. Um, but, actually, um, I thought that I would go ahead and do Glamas, and most of what I'm going to be using is ColourPop, um, but I do have a couple of products. I don't know, I always felt that, or my current feeling is that uh, ColourPop and Wet n Wild go really well together, and that they have a lot of products that kind of offset each other. So um, it's kind of a combination, and I'm going to try to go as bronzy as I can. And I'm actually doing that because my outfit is kind of, well, there's a little bit of gold on here, but it's mostly silver, and I kind of want to contrast here. So let me show you my top a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Kind of one of those uh, holiday tops, and um, it'll be one moment, and we'll get going here. Okay, so as far as getting going, this is uh, Mega Glow Hello, um, Hello, Hello Hollow, no, Hello Halo, and um, this is actually to go underneath makeup, so let's go ahead and get started on this part. This is turning out to be more of a tutorial, huh? But, figure. This is the time of year when we can sparkle into another galaxy. So let's try. Okay. Glow to the heavens. There's that. And this is pretty fresh my color pop. And here's that. Go ahead and put some of this on. gonna try some of this with cream so actually I'm gonna go a little bit as far as um this is a wet and mild lush this one yeah I have to list it down below but this is their one of their cream blushes that really has that nice peachy glow um yeah, I was never one that was able to do bronze, as in traditional bronze. Tried dyeing my hair uh, a goldy blonde, or yellow goldy blonde a couple of times. That didn't work. Um, and then you get into beige and champagne blonde, and most of those have the base that's blue, so if your hair is dry, sometimes it will turn blue-purple and once in a while orange. So, you know... Um, I was never able to do the bronze bronze colors, but I think I kind of found a way to go ahead and do some of that, um, but not necessarily that deep because you can do, uh, you could do a peach, you can do a rose, um, any of those colors that actually go into the bronzy kind of feeling. Um, this is actually that Wet n Wild Mega Jelly. This one is the highlighter hmm. and I think I tore this one <laughs> okay so really and I don't usually work with this mini but there we go so it's very liquidy highlighter and I am going way out of order here kind of 
because I figured if I got the the products that are the goopiest on first, then they would have time to dry and I can go over them with products that aren't. And I think that might actually work and I don't think it brought up the base, so that's good. Like I said, just trying this. And let's see, how about this is the old Ticket to Brazil. It's wet and mild um, bronzer here. And it is well loved. You can get pan on this one. And, um, but it does have some shimmer in it. So I definitely want shimmer. And I'm going to use my bronzer as a contour. And yeah, I know I'm using these light colors. And for me, they're actually a bronzer. But let's go ahead and contour here. Get those cheekbones up a little bit. Still good. I'm only going for the cheekbones right now. Okay. I have a ColourPop palette here. Actually, it's a little bit older palette, but I think it will blend nicely with what I have on before. So this is the Clockwork, and this palette, I think, was the first blush I ever got from Colourpop, and it's definitely an orangey one, so it'll help me to bronze where I can bronze. Because, like I said, I can't necessarily do the deeper, but this all has that feeling of the brown. See, especially this, um, this highlighter right here, which I'm going to use as a blush topper. So, I'll go ahead and get that done. Here, so I think they should blend pretty well. And, yes, I am going for the glam today. As far as the eyes, I'm going to go more toward the uh, rose gold kind of thing. And I have the whatever palette to kind of do that with. So, let me see here. Ah! Oops. There went everything. So, a little rattled from um, everything falling over, but luckily the only blush that went ahead and broke was the one that um, that's old, and now it gives me an excuse to replace it. But um, like I said, the AOA blushes did fine. I added a little bit of um, under eye concealer, and then under the eye I put the Wet n Wild um, Bloom Time which is their peachy highlighter here. Um, I use the Whatever palette to go ahead and do the eyes. Um, this Whatever palette, it's all about going back to school, so I used, uh, yeah, that says nail. And then um, this other one that says ditchin, so let's see. Uh, this one. Yeah, this is the first rose gold I used. And then this second one, which is still in the rose gold family. And then Tardy is what I used here. So this one and this one. And I ended up with this. I'm um, going to go ahead and do the color pop eyebrow now. Whatever kind of palette you're painting sometimes, just get a little bit rambunctious. 
And that happens with watercolors, acrylics, and anything else for me. Um, I've gone ahead and taken up some of that. Uh, I did a lot of computer work, a lot of computer graphics, and just um, am now challenging myself to find out what it's like working with a medium that can actually move. <laughs> and um, so not only am I painting faces, but I'm painting canvases right now. And I guess it's probably the next step. It seemed like the next step for a long time, but, well, you know, so there we go. Let's see, is it still focusing? And there's a the look. Yeah, so. That's about as much sparkle as you can do. Let's zoom back out again. Okay, everything's falling on the floor today. Oh well. Okay, so there we go with that. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit of powder on and then we'll use some of the fourth ray glisten up to actually make it a little bit more glisteny. If we can. Because I think we have just about as much glisten as we can get on here. Actually I could do one more thing to get just a little bit more glisten. Ooh, look at all the powder gone. 